Hey you guys, I'm going to be doing another update. Now it looks like the camera is crooked and it's probably something I'm not even going to be able to fix right now. Anyway, uh, I guess this could be considered one in dollars, but I like calling it updates just because continuity sake, because I've been calling them updates. Anyway, Delhi update, and I don't, it's not like anything, I just wanted to talk about dolls basically. Uh, Mainly, um, I have some stuff I want to talk about, uh, I do want to talk about Kira a little bit, and then, um, there's some customs I want to show you, so yeah. Um, let me move my drink down. Mm -hmm. Guys, notice these two girls, you can barely see the Twyla, um, but this is the, uh, Howleen that, um, uh, Kohaku Creations, or Amber sent me, uh, she was in, um, an outfit, and I'll show you guys what the outfit was in a second, but, um, I love this Howleen for, she's, like, the only one with this hair color, um, and I love the, the style of it and everything, I like that it's, like, this curly mess up here, <laughs> and then, like, um, the rest of the hair is either right here or back here, um, I tried combing it out, because I didn't have it in a ponytail for a while. Um, I just had it, like, just down. Um, but it didn't, it didn't look good at all. She looked kind of odd. So I decided to put it in a ponytail to see if that would help control a lot of the craziness. Um, and it does. And as you can see, there's pins keeping the, 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 the cap on. So, yeah. So she has, like, a little back... Kind of makes her have the illusion that she has um, shoulder length hair, so yeah. And this is 16 Wishes Helene's outfit. Uh, she looks really cute. I mean, she looks very 80s to me. I love dolls that are in that style. Winston High is actually coming out with um, the electrified, electrified monsters or something like that, where they're very 80s esque. Um, cause they have like the big crimped hair, the weird crazy colors, basically like this. So I am insanely excited. Um, the only disappointing thing is Frankie is kind of gross because she's kind of economized slightly, um, and gimmicky and I don't like it. So I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But anyway, just kind of wanted to show you my Halloween, um, and I did put this, I even saved the stud from the 16 Wishes Halloween, and I put it there. I did poke another hole in here just because I thought about giving her another earring, like a hoop or something. But, uh, I just haven't done it yet. Um, I might, I might not. I don't know yet. I do need to get doll stands. That's one major thing I need to do. And we recently figured out that the, um, Hobby Lobby stands... Um, the two dollar ones are actually pretty good, um, cause, like, with the Kaiser stands, especially with the smaller dolls, are a pain in the butt. They, um, they don't go down far enough to, like, hug the dolls, like, Twyla or Howleen enough that they're kind of just floating there, like, her, like, the, the stand itself sits, like, she sits on the stand like that, and she's actually slightly floating, um, some of my other dolls, so, <sighs> Yeah, but the Kaiser, the, the ones at Hobby Lobby, um, they actually, you can set it to hug the, the, um, hips right here. So they actually stand pretty sturdy and they're not, like, gonna fall off. I mean, it's kind of ugly because, I mean, you got this giant white thing right here. But, anyway. So, this is the extra Twyla that Amber sent me. Um... And as you can see, I have Twyla back here. There we go. So this is what she used to look like, and she dropped her purse, and I'm sure I'm going to be all kinds of hot mess-like. But here she is, and then here's the one that she sent me. Um, she did not look like this. She looked like this. <laughs> but these are the clothes that... Um, This, these are the clothes that, that Halloween was um, wearing when she sent me, sent her to me. So basically, um, like these pants, uh, this little jumpsuit, it's like a bathing suit, basically. 
Um, but she was wearing that, um, these overall short things and this hood. Um, that and these stockings were what she was wearing. And these stockings were like all the way like up to up to there or something on her. But to make her 80s to match Helene, um, I basically, uh, I left her shoes just because I felt it still matched. But I kind of just dragged these down like this to like mimic leg warmers. Um, and this is already kind of 80s-esque with the hood and the, the overalls and the zebra print shirt. So the only thing is I might give her some some bangles. Um, like I have silver jump rings that I can put on her wrist. And they'll look like silver bangles. And I can just leave these ones on because, I mean, they still, they're still pretty cool. Or I might take one of the purple, put a silver over here, and bring in one of the other. Yeah. <laughs> rambling, rambling, rambling. And then what I was going to do, I, I did change her earrings. And these are the earrings that came with um, the, the, um, she starts, her name starts with a K. It's the mermaid doll. That's the octopus. These are her earrings. Um, these I got whenever I, like, turned, I made Ursula. So they've just been sitting around. I like them. They look good on her. They actually look like something that would, uh, 80s Twyla would probably wear or something like that. But you can barely see them. You can t hardly tell that they're on. So I was trying to figure out what color. My mom said to do them silver to match, like, this and like bangles were a big thing or hoops were a big thing in the 80s and 90s but I mean yeah so I think I might do them silver but I don't know probably and then I, I liked I, I felt she needed a headband or something because I felt like that's something she would wear so there's that and then her hair I kind of cut a hole in the back for the hair to come out um but I also ponytailed her hair, so you can see like that. So I can take it out. She can just have her hood down. Her hair is still really, really greasy. Like it was greasy, so greasy that when I was like trying to do her hair, my hands were like ick. So have no clue what that's all about. So she'll look like that. And she has like her ponytails. And then this is a headband that I got from um, when I made a uh, fee. So yeah. So she looks really cute. I'm really happy for her w with how she came out. And I really didn't want to change her too horribly much because um, I know this was Amber's favorite doll, and um, I still kind of wanted to keep it Twyla. So, I have Helene and Twyla because um, I shipped them. I just think they look cool together, so I just kind of like shipped them together. <laughs> I think they look really cute. So, yeah, they're going to go on the shelf, on the custom shelf together. Just like that. Put them there. So, I still have a, a few more things to do for this toilet, but not a whole lot. Um. Yeah, I still need to fix her hair just a smidge. Not a horrible lot. Just kind of tight, tight, t uh, uh. Oh, my brain it just doesn't work. You guys know what I mean. But I wanted to. Sh okay. She's going to lay down now. I just wanted to show you guys um, Amber's custom real quick. Because she sent it to me because I loved it so much. And I did show it off in a vlog. And um, I did show a good majority. Or all of the... Good majority. I'm a little derpy today. I'm sorry. And I say that like every video. But like it's mainly because like at the end of the day. I am always some sort of derpiness. But anyway. I really wanted to show... Her doll, and this is like one of her first customs, so she did a really awesome job. Like, I, I really love this doll. I find her so cute, and I can't, like, again, I forget the name. I think it's like Chloe or something. Um, I know it at least starts with a C, so. 
She's really, really cute. And she even has like the blue streak. I wish I had a Jackson to put with her so I can sit with, sit like a Jackson next to her. And she even made like this shirt. Which is really cute. There's like she has her little netted gloves. And then she has her little pants and these little, little tights. And then I love these shoes. So she's, she's really, really cute. And she will go on my custom shelf as well. I just really wanted to show you guys. Because I find her really, really cute. So she's pretty. And yeah, like again, I, I still, I need to get stands really, really bad. Um, I don't mind... Like the like the newer dolls, I don't mind sitting for right now. Um, it's just like I have a bunch of New York dolls that are sitting. I have a um, like I still like I want to get a stand for her so that way I can stand her with the other Gigi's. Um, and she's not gonna s come on. Oh, whatever. There. Fix that. Um, and then. Well, I guess that's mainly it. I just really want to get my New York girls to stand. Because they're all, like, I have four dolls sitting. And then, like, I want to get them stands. Um, and then I think there's, like, two or three more customs that I need stands for. So that's aggravating. So at least I know, like, the, the Hobby Lobby stands work for these dolls. Yeah, they're a little ugly in, um... Probably not the hugest, best quality, but for two dollars, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really care right now. <laughs> so I just, I need stands. But um, yeah, that's more or less my my dolly updates. Um, now I guess I can talk about Kira. Oh, I was gonna show Alex and his little Wolfie unit, like little onesie. He's so cute. Uh -huh. But I forgot, and I'm not gonna get up right now. But I'm I'm trying to plan start planning stuff for Kira. Uh, I assume she, I'm just gonna end up giving Alex's bed to Kira because she's actually small enough that she could fit in there and actually look really really cute. Even though I do like Alex in there, it's just he's kind of difficult to like fold up and then stick in there. And then I mean I don't. I'm just gonna end up giving it to Kira, just because I don't even. Like, I made it, and then I ended up not really using it as much as I thought I would. So I think with Kira, that would definitely work. There we go. That was bothering me. That was bothering me. Now I feel better. So, that is good. And then, um, actually, some of the charms that Junkie Spot has sent me, I'm going to use for her dolls. And I do want to get... Um, try and find a few other small things that I can use for like toys or other things for her and then I've been trying to rack my brain as to uh, shirt wise I guess it's, uh, I'll just call it a shirt um, but I don't want anything like I don't want her to wear a skirt because I don't think it will look good on her body um, at least for me um, I'm sure there's other people that it would be perfectly fine for. I did recently find someone on YouTube who has, like, roughly, the, she has the male version, um, and she, like, makes doll clothes and a bunch of different things. So, hopefully she'll maybe come up with some stuff for her, uh, Pixie, or Pie, because that's what the male version is called. It's called a Pie. Um, Kara's called a Pixie. And I forgot what I was talking about. So yeah, I'm having a hard time figuring out what I want as far as style-wise for her uh, top. Because I was thinking, okay, it would be cool just to have a top, but it's kind of weird just to have a top up here. And then it just suddenly stop or something. So I was thinking maybe um, something kind of flowy that opens, maybe. Like, like it's like a top up here, but it extends and then opens so that way it's not like a... Like a, a kind of like a dress, but not really. I don't know how to put that, but yeah. But another huge problem I'm having is eyes, because I cannot figure out what eye size she is. I did post on Instagram, and someone said um, she's 14 centimeters, but she doesn't know actually for sure. 
which I was assuming she was either 16 or 14, um, which I guess 14 would probably be a closer look at what she would be. So I guess that might be it, but I still wanted to like mention it on here in case you guys have the pics you or um, another 25. Oh gosh. Apparently I just got a comment about it. My pie, same size and brand, wears 12 millimeter. I don't know about 14, and I don't know if they would fit. Okay, so I'm going to go with the, and this is the person that I actually just followed, that I was just talking about who had the pie. So, um, okay, 12 centimeters is good, but the other problem I was having um, is the, uh, the color, because here's her face up. Um, I'm going to do it very, very similar to this. It probably won't end up like exactly like this, but it will be very similar to this. Um, actually, basically the same colors uh, is what I'm trying to say. I do want her to have two different colored eyes, but I'm having this problem where I don't know if I want to do pink and purple anymore because I'm afraid it'd be too much for her face. Um, so I'm having a hard time. And then... I'm also thinking, well, maybe I should give her, like, the dragon eyes that you see on Etsy a lot of the times. Because I don't think I'm going to find the eyes I want on Junkie Spot, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to Etsy, which they're roughly the same price. So, yeah. So I'm I'm thinking maybe blue. Um, but I'm also, like I said, I want two different colored eyes, so maybe blue and purple or... I don't know, I had to figure it out, but then I was also thinking even galaxy eyes would look cool. Um, I actually took a few pictures of, like, screen captures of some of the eyes I liked on um, Etsy. Like, here's a dragon one, which I don't know how well you guys are going to see things. Um, here's some of the, these aren't the galaxy ones, but they, well, they kind of are, but... They're basically different shades of pink and purple, which I kind of like. That's a cool concept because, like, I can always use this really light pink and then this this one, which is, like, a darker pink-purple color, which go kind of go with what I'm looking for. But I really like these dragon eyes, and she has them in a couple different colors. The only problem is her shop doesn't open until, like, after January. Um... <laughs> And I don't know if I want to wait that long. She does come with eyes, by the way. So don't think like I'm, I don't have eyes for her. She comes with eyes and a face up. So those are her eyes. So, so I really am thinking maybe dragon eyes would be cool. Like get a, get a pair of pink and a pair of purple somewhere. If I can find somewhere that will have pink and purple um, dragon eyes. But, and then this is by the same person. Um... These are the galaxy eyes I really, really, really liked. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll end up waiting till after January anyway to get her eyes. So maybe this would work anyway. Um, I don't know. And then that's, that's, that's it. Um, those are like the, the top kind of three I have. Oh, by the way, if you guys have ever ordered from Chocolate Titsang, um, or T Sing. On, uh, on Etsy, please let me know how they are. I mean, I'm sure I can go through here and read, like, a million different reviews, but, I mean, I'll probably do that later. But, yeah, I'm having a hard time figuring out what color eyes I want for this girl. Because I do know I really liked the concept of her having two eyes, two different colored eyes. Obviously, she's going to have two eyes two different colored eyes because I think it's kind of cool and I do like the idea of pink and purple but I don't know if it's going to be too much for her face to not only have pink and purple makeup but also have pink and purple eyes so that was just one of the things I was afraid of but who knows maybe that will end up working anyway I don't know <laughs> but we'll see um, this was kind of a short update. Um, actually, here, I'll stop this real quick, and I'm gonna go get Alex, because I think you guys would love to see Alex. Okay, I'm back. 
And by the way, you guys, if you hear a humming noise in the background, um, that's, like, the, um, bathroom fan downstairs. So, it makes that noise. It's annoying, but I can't do anything about it. Anyway, here's Alex. There he is. I finally decided to stick some sticky tack, like, under his wig to hopefully help it from stop slipping back. I, like I said, I don't actually have a wig cap for him. I really need to get one, especially since his wig isn't as tight as um, I would like it. But that isn't, like, the wig not fitting is not her fault. It's mine because I didn't double check and make sure I got the correct well it's like his size but it's not um I, I don't know maybe he just has a small small head but his hair I don't know playing with it but yeah here's the outfit that Kohaku made and I ended up not even having to do anything with the sleeves I just folded them in and um they're perfectly fine looks really cute. Um, let me put the hood up so you guys can see what that's like. Put it over his face a little bit. So, look at the ears. I wish I could figure out a way to keep the ears, like, standing. And I wanted her, I was gonna see, um, I asked her if, if maybe she ha could possibly make Kira, um, a dragon one. Um, by the way, I don't know if this ever showed in, like, pictures and stuff. He does have a, a... She did put a tail on this onesie, so that's really, really cute. I like it. He's just really cute. And then this is a zipper. So, you know, you can take him out of it really easily. So, he's really cute in this. I really love it. Um, but I did get this hat from... But, um, Bath and Body Works. It's just a Santa hat. They used it as like a little thing to put on top of their lotions and stuff. Um, just to Christmasize it. Like they're they're like a dollar, but they're perfect for like if Alex's head was like just really, really, really slightly smaller, it would be perfect for him. And um like, I mean, it's it's not that bad even if I just set it on top of his head. But even if I took the wig off, it, it was like a really tight fit. I even tried. but And then I was thinking maybe it would work for, you know, some of my Monster Highs. Um, don't want to mess our hair up too much. So, they're just like really, really big. Um, let me... Set that to the side. There we go. That looks a lot better, actually. So it's really big on Monster Highs, but I mean, it's only a dollar at uh, Bath and Body Works. So if you're like a BJD person and you want, or if you have like a doll with a bigger head um, and you want like Christmas hats but don't want to make one or something, just go to a Bath and Body Works um, store. These were just a just dollar. That's all they were, is a dollar. Um, I think they also have, like, Santa bags that you could put your products in for gifts. Um, so, I don't know how much those were, but I saw them. Um, and they also have, like, a bunch of other holiday things for candles that you could probably use for, for dolls and stuff, but... I don't know. But I, I just kind of wanted to show you the Santa hat real quick. And Alex, because I'm, everybody should like Alex. He's really cute. And this little wolfy, like, it's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. But, yeah, I think I'm going to put an end to this little update. I will have another one after I open up Kira on Christmas Day. Probably not on Christmas Day, obviously. Um, probably, oh, I want to say days prop most likely a couple days after because I'm gonna be working on stuff for her for a couple days after I open her so that yeah, she it sucks because she's not gonna have a wig that's one thing that's gonna bother me because we just never had a chance to buy the wig so hopefully we can buy the wig at least this week and finally his leg goes back <sighs> whatever anyway 
I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, small update. I don't know if it was quick or not because I rambles, but um, it's a pretty small update. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.